It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 10th of February. I'm James Spann. We are on the road this evening. The first alert storm team tour continues. We're going to be in Winfield in Marion County. We'll be there between 4 and 6.30. It's a meet and greet. Just come by when you can. Say hi. Everybody gets some cool stuff. Some people get a weather radio. If you need your weather radio program, bring it by. We'll be in Reform Thursday evening in Pickens County. You can see the tour there for the rest of the month. All right, trough rotating off the Atlantic coast today. That's the one that brought the rain early yesterday morning and is pulling down cooler air today. We're starting the day in the 30s, a few spots north of Birmingham below the freezing mark, but we'll wind up in the lower 50s today. Coldest air is over the Great Lakes, and uh, we're going to see some pretty cold air dropping in here Thursday and even colder air over the weekend as our mild weather of late fades away. That's a watch warning map, but we got winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings up north, but things are quiet down here, and really it's going to be dry for a while. I know with cold air coming in, some of the snow lovers are looking for some glimmer of hope. I don't think so. Uh, dry through at least Sunday morning, and it uh, looks like the next chance of rain will be Tuesday of next week, and by then it should be just rain. All right, model fans, here's the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid today at noon trough going off the Atlantic coast. We have a dry north flow aloft, and today will be sunny and cool with a high in the low 50s in most spots. The GFS is printing a high of 50. The NAM is at 48, but it's been too cool lately. Uh, tomorrow should be the nicest day of the next seven days. Should be a sunny day with a high in the lower 60s. Sounds pretty good. But Thursday, the trough sharpens up in the east. And down below that, the north winds pick up, and the day will be cold. Maybe a few snow flurries down into northeast Tennessee, but we're dry. We'll call it partly sunny. The high will be in the low 40s, and the north wind will make it colder. This is Friday. The winds go calm. Friday morning's going to be cold. We should be in the upper teens. The uh, GFS is printing a low of 18 for Birmingham. And the high Friday, again, in the low 40s, but not as windy. Saturday as the weekend begins, a 1046 high coming down across the Canadian border. That's going to push more cold air in here by Sunday, but Saturday a chance we see upper 40s, and the sky will be sunny. We start the day in the 20s, but Sunday, the trough again sharpens up on the East Coast. Cold air advection on Sunday. In fact, the latest GFS for Birmingham is printing a high of 33 might be a little too cold. We'll say mid-30s, whatever. It's going to be a very cold day up in the Tennessee Valley. They stay below freezing all day from about Coleman North. And Sunday morning will be cold. We should be down in the teens. Uh, the, the timing of the cold air is still somewhat in question. It might be that Monday morning will be the coldest. This is Monday, and uh, the GFS is printing a low of 17. I think we'll be in the teens both Sunday morning and Monday morning. So uh, very cold air as the weekend wraps up, and we're still dry. And then Tuesday, here comes our next chance of rain, and this looks like it would be rain for us. Uh, maybe some snow on the northern flank of this thing up in Tennessee, but just kind of a cold, uh, rainy day on Tuesday of next week, the 17th with a high in the 50s. And this is the following day, Wednesday the 18th, and that looks pretty chilly as uh, more cold air advection kicks in, we'll be, we'll, we'll be dry. And then on Thursday the 19th, you can see how the pattern starts to relax a little bit. There's a trough west of the state with a surface low developing over the Texas panhandle, and that could bring some rain maybe a day or two after that. Temperatures coming off the ensemble. You can see the colder shot later this week and then again late this weekend. And after that, temperatures seem to be about average toward the end of the month. And we note the Arctic Oscillation tries to go positive out there toward the end of the month, and the NAO kind of hugs the neutral line. No major trends there. And I forgot to show you this graphic. This is the projected wind chill uh, Saturday night at midnight, showing uh, wind chill indices below zero across northeast Alabama and sitting at four in Birmingham. Indeed, that will be a big change. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Uh, during our tour dates, like today, we're doing one video per day. Uh, back to the two-a-day tomorrow. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.